Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Basically, since I'm getting married, I'm not asking for anything for Christmas but a wedding. And I really don't have a what I am asking for for Christmas video or like anything like that or what I got for Christmas. None of that's happening this year because I'm getting married. So instead of doing one of those videos, I figured it would be cool to do a what's on my wedding registry video because some of these things you could be adding to your Christmas list or it could give you a present idea for somebody else. But yeah, I don't even really ask for anything for Christmas anyway because I'm kind of at the point where I'm like older and if I just feel weird asking for Christmas presents. And it's kind of like the I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it thing for myself. Like if I want something, I buy it. Like it's just that mentality. So there's no point in like really asking for Christmas presents anyway. So I am asking for registry presents though because that is a tradition that we are doing for this wedding. So I have my entire wedding registry on my computer right here. I am going to link my wedding registry down below. So I don't have to go through and relink everything because it's already all there. But with that being said, please, this car, that was probably a guy who just drove by and did that with his engine. Please do not purchase any of these gifts. I'm letting you know right now, I'm telling you do not purchase them. I'm just linking this for my convenience so I don't have to sit there and go through it like I'm lazy. Yes, I'm being lazy. I don't want to have to sit there and go through and link everything so it's like already all linked in one really pretty place by the way i'm using the knot um for my wedding website that is on private you need a code to get into that um but i don't think you need a code to get into the wedding registry so i would like to let everyone know now if you haven't been following i have an entire wedding playlist where we've gone to the venue like everything wedding you could possibly think of engagement wedding dress shopping blah, blah 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 but if you watch my last video you will know that we are no longer getting married at our wedding venue and we have no wedding and no date but we are trying to figure that out right now so we will have a wedding and we will have a date and that's just a whole mess but um yeah anyway i'm linking that below that was like a very like wrapped way of saying that i'm <laughs> i'm just trying to let you know that the everything will be linked down below if you want to go back and reference it or i might just end up linking everything down below i don't even know i'll figure it out as i'm editing this whatever seems like it's more smart okay so i'm just gonna go ahead technically if we were getting married it would be in 74 days 73 days from when you're watching this but I feel like I'm all over the place because I literally am. I can't even concentrate. I'm so stressed out about this wedding. So let's just start. There's like no particular order. I'm just literally reading you what is come, like what's first in order of appearance on the screen. So I'll put the picture right here. First thing is an Amazon basic silicone nonstick food safe baking sheet mainly because whenever we have to put things in the oven my least favorite thing in the entire world is having to clean off the pan i hate doing that so we have a non-stick baking sheet that we can put down because i hate putting down tinfoil i just don't like it so I'm, my family used to have these i don't even know why i haven't gotten them yet but it's on there next thing on my list is a steamer a handheld steamer um i uh, don't have one we don't even have an iron or anything and if clothes are wrinkly we just wear them like that so i'm definitely putting a steamer on our wedding registry um i also have a foldable clothes drying rack i already have one but it's broken and i personally don't feel like repurchasing one so i'm putting a new one on here a lot of this is things that i personally do not want to purchase for myself because they're expensive or it's just annoying and then you'd like have to purchase that versus getting like a new set active set and stuff like that like it's very bad that i yeah anyways it's um yeah yeah anyway that is the leading cause to my um shopping addiction right there is the sentence that just came out of my mouth okay um i have a cordless vacuum but here's why i'm making this video early um no one's bought any vacuums yet or anything so i'm glad that i am doing this but basically what i need you guys to tell me is is a dyson worth it because i have seen some reviews that tell me otherwise and that other vacuums are better than the dyson so i have the i think it's pronounced Tenneco hero cordless vacuum it's the a11 um you'll have to just tell me what you think also i feel like this one's better from the reviews that i've read but just let me know um okay i also have and everything i've said already is from amazon 
so I'm going through my Amazon stuff first. I have glass food storage containers so I can make our pantry pretty. Um, some glass measuring cups because you, you know, necessary. Um, some tablespoon measure things. What am I saying? I don't know. Um, I have some just like plain glasses for when we have guests come over. They can use those because the ones we have now are like super cheap. They're plastic, they're just not cute. Um, I also put a grater on here because a lot of the time you have to grate some something in a HelloFresh meal or do something. Like, I feel like we would use this a lot. Um, I also have a cast iron skillet because we do not have one at all and we would definitely use that. Okay, I also have another vacuum and it is the, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Ufi by Anchor Boost IQ Robot Vacuum. I just really need one of those, especially if we're getting a golden retriever in the spring. I feel like that's going to be great with the dog hair because I already know that I'm going to be vacuuming all the time with the dog hair. But if we can have this little guy like walk around and suck stuff up when I'm not in the mood to, that would be amazing. Um, I have a marble rolling pin because I like to make homemade pizza sometimes and like baking and stuff. I feel like that would be necessary. <laughs> I do indeed have a barefoot dreams blanket. This was just like a necessary thing. I've had so many people talk about it and I've gotten to the point where I have FOMO because I don't have a barefoot dreams blanket. So I figured I would just put one on the registry. Um, I also put an echo dot, but like the smaller ones. So the dot, I don't know why I just had to explain that further. But this one's for our bedroom because my goal for this is to set our alarms through that girl over there. And that way we can have our phones stay out here and we don't even have, need to have our phones near us at all during the night or in the morning. And we can have our alarm go off by Alexa and not even need to look at the phone screen or anything. So that's the goal for that. What should I have? Oh, I said her name. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you don't even realize you're saying her name. Okay, I also have a knife set. We have a couple knives that are really nice. My mom's ex-boyfriend gave them to us but that was the, like the one good thing that came from him but um i would like a full knife set i'm sure colin would too actually he would because i ran this list by him um there's some things he had issues with but i'm leaving them on there just in case i took one vacuum off i did have three vacuums on here and he reasoned with me that that was very unnecessary so we got it down to two the big heavy duty one and the little robot knife set it looks cute i needed this one Next up, Amazon Toolkit. So my mans can hang things up for me, make things for me, build things for me. Just like a, a big, nice, handy man set. I put that on there for him. He appreciated it. Um, I got a baker set of three. Now we're into crate and barrel. We're excited about this. I got a baking set of three for when we bake. Lots of desserts from Trader Joe's because they're so good. I haven't found one really yet that I'm like, oh, that's gross. They're all really good. Um, I got a set of 10 glass bowls for mixing, serving, when we have guests over, friends over, we're hosting things, which I'm sure we'll do. Um, got stuff for that. I also got that, the beer can glass that like everybody has. I've been wanting one so bad, but I'm like, I'll just put it on my wedding registry. So um, yeah, I got those. Oh, except it says needs one of one, but I definitely need more than that. So I'm gonna go back in and fix that. Um, I also got a 20 piece storage set. So basically Tupperware, but like high class Tupperware. looks really nice. Okay, this is without a doubt, something that Colin wants me to take off so bad because he said we do not need this. And I just really think that we need it, like really truly. It's the Smeg, I think that that's how you say it, matte white toaster. I can't even tell you the last time I toasted something, but it's so pretty. It would look so pretty on our counters. And I know one day we will toast something. And when we have kids, they will probably want toast a lot or something to be toasted or an Eggo waffle that you toast. So I would rather get it now than get it later. And it's really cute, high quality. I know it will last a long time. And right now I'm not on an avocado toast kick, but when I get back on an avocado toast kick, my toast would come out very nicely in this toaster. So I need it. Next thing is a little square utensil holder because right now we have the ones from Target that literally say utensil on it. And if you watch Arvin Olano, he would be so disappointed in me because he doesn't like things like that. And I really like him and his style. And so I'm trying to, 
are my refrigerator goes off in every single YouTube video I've ever made in my whole life while living here. There we go. Um, he would just be really disappointed and also I just would really like this one from Crate and Barrel instead. And then also we got a dinnerware set which we absolutely really need. We have a mix of my plates from college and Colin's plates from college and I would really like a uniformed set when everything goes together and it looks cute and everything like that. So yeah. I have a vinegar bottle and an oil bottle so we can have them look cute next to each other. Um, I also have some berry box white colander little berry containers. I don't know, Maggie McDonald has these and they look really cute on her counter, so. Then we have a matte black oval platter, which I think is necessary. We have a small one and a large one for when we're hosting. I'm planning on throwing a ton of parties, I don't know if you can tell. And then also a little bowl to go with them. And they're just a set and I thought that they would look cute. And then I put this pan set because our pans are literally terrible. I hate our pans so much. Again, from college, I was like, okay, we have one that's new that I've gotten. But other than that, it's like seriously things from college and I'm just in the mood to upgrade. So I have this ceramic nonstick 10 piece pot set and I'm excited about that. And then I also have coasters because we used to have coasters. We don't anymore. We really need more. Um, but they're just a set of four slate coasters. I've seen them so many times. I've, a lot of people have them. Um, but the ones that we had from Target broke and these look like high quality coasters. So got those. And then a silicone utensil set, just like obvious. Again, things from college that we can upgrade. Okay, this is specifically for Colin. Colin loves to make guacamole. So I put a literal guacamole thing on here, like the ones that the people in the restaurants use and they make the guacamole in front of you. It's like high class guacamole. I got him one of those so he can feel like a very cool guy while making me guacamole, so. I used to make the guacamole and then he just really took over and he likes his guac and the way he makes it. So I got him something cool. I had to get these wine glasses. They're classy, they're cute. I've wanted them for so long, but it's been like the argument of, okay, I'll just put it on my wedding registry that have been making me wait. But they're on there and I will drink wine out of them without a doubt. Um, I have this bath canister in black for my cotton balls, Q-tips, something like that for it to, happening. Oh, I just realized I have a blanket on here from Target too. Okay, I can probably take that off, but it's cute. So I also have um, Brooklinen bath towels and Brooklinen sheets. Both of these I'm very excited about. We definitely need the sheets that we have. I just got a couple more from Home Goods, but I just really want a good set of, I meant towels, the towels that we have. I just got some more from Home Goods, but I just really want a good like thick plush towel. And then also our sheets are from my bed from literally high school, I think, because I've had that bed for a long time. Well, I've had those sheets for a long time, but we just really needed new sheets. So I put Brooklyn and sheets on there. Um, I also put an always pan from our place. Um, everyone has been talking about this pan. So it's been a recent item that has been added to the list, but I figured if no one gets it, it's okay because I already asked for that entire pan set, but everyone's talking about it and I have FOMO, so now I put it on the list and if someone gets it, great. If they don't, whatever. Um, we have a crock pot on our list and then another con con storage container thing for like pasta, which I don't know why it's done there. And then we also have a blender, which somebody already purchased. So if you've seen my vlogs, you've seen the blender because I sent the thank you and then started using it. Um, but it's an Amazon Ninja 72 ounce countertop blender and it is literally fabulous. And then the last thing I have on here, oops, which I didn't see, but I know I put it on here. Maybe it got out of stock. The other thing that is on here is an espresso machine. Um, so hopefully I stop going to Starbucks as often, but I doubt that but I still put it on there because it's, and again, one of those things where it's like, I would really love one of those, but I don't wanna buy it for myself. I just realized I forgot to mention to you guys that also on our wedding registry, we are doing a honeymoon fund. So Colin and I are paying for our honeymoon. And as of right now, our plan is to wait and go on our honeymoon a little bit later in 2021, or if not 2022, and maybe go on like a big one year anniversary trip. And we would like to go to Santorini and to Greece. Well, Greece, but like Santorini and Mykonos. 
is where we want to go so we are paying for it so we do have a honeymoon fund which is another reason why i wanted to put practical things on our wedding registry so that way we um can like get the things that we really need a couple things that i really want and then also have that honeymoon fund so forgot to mention that back to the video okay so that was everything that i currently have on my wedding registry but i wanted to go ahead and put this video out in case you guys are like no no, no you need this or you would love this definitely comment below also if you're stumbling across this video and you're also getting married one i feel for you because planning a wedding during COVID is literally the worst thing you could have ever possibly imagined and two hopefully this gave you some ideas or give me ideas if you want to comment below something that's on yours that i didn't have on mine basically just in the comments list every possible thing i could have ever put on a wedding registry so i can kind of like go through i tried to make it really reasonable like things that we would actually use like i wanted so bad to put a kitchenaid stand mixer on the wedding registry but it was on there actually colin convinced me to take it off because i barely bake and when i do bake there's no need for a big heavy duty mixer so i took it off it really was painful but i took it off and yeah that was everything that's on my wedding registry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed and you wanna stick around for the weekly vlogs, the wedding planning, me trying to figure out when this wedding is, how it's happening, or if we're just gonna elope to the courthouse on February 13th of 2021, then hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me if you guys stuck around, but I hope you're having a great day. If you're listening to this, I hope you have the best day ever. And if you're having a bad day, just know that you're in control of your emotions and you can decide if you wanna make it a good day or a bad day mentally words of advice from me anyway i love you guys so much thanks so much for watching leave that comment below and help me out and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.